In Greek thought, you have this sort of sense that there's three levels. There's heaven, and then there's earth, and then there's Hades under it. And it's one that's picked up a little bit by Jesus in one of his parables um, to do with Lazarus. But it's not, a, it's not a major theme in the Bible. Rather, it sees something much more akin to what modern physics is talking about, that there's multiple dimensions that make up this reality. And those dimensions include what we can see in terms of the physical, but other things that we can't see. And uh, that is how the Old Testament reflects. And somehow the dimension of the spiritual uh, and the dimension of the physical interact and rub up and inter intertwine together such that one has an impact on the other. And in this story, one of the iconic stories from Chronicles, we have um, Ahab uh, having an alliance with Jehoshaphat, the two sides, the good and the bad, um, mixing. And in the spiritual, you get God having a conflict with all the spiritual forces. Um, you then get the spiritual forces in that conflict deciding what they want to do and influencing the physical. And over all of it, you find that the prophet of God, Micaiah, uh, speaks the truth in both the things he says, both winning the victory and also um, the head of Israel, Ahab, the bad king, um, finding that he comes to a sticky end. But also that it speaks the truth in terms of winning the battle. And somehow over all this, in all the things that entwine in the brokenness of our world, God is still in charge and still is working his purpose out.